not a smooth cheek, and they always say in Hollywood they pass on in threes, and unfortunately it's happened again. Gloria Stewart, you know from Titanic, she was an old lady, as well as Greg Geraldo, which was a comic who was only 44 years old that was well known for Comedy Central, and then acting legend Tony Curtis died at the age of 85, so it's just, I don't know why it happens, they say they die in threes in Hollywood, but it seems to happen that way. But for brighter news, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. The racism tag is now openly being used against anyone that opposes Obama's programs. Oh yeah, I mean, there, dem there are prominent left-wing liberals that are wanting the people to rise up against the racist and bigoted Neanderthals that are trying to steal this country from the hard-working people. Oh, don't you love those words that they're using? Yeah, but they basically, right out of the, you go to the Communist Manifesto and you'll find a lot of the words that they're using. It's getting worse. That this more, every day, the polls were, are worse than the Democrats. You've got people in safe districts that are turning red now because they're fed up with their congressmen. They know, okay, you put it this way, if you control the House, you control the Senate, Republicans can't stop anything, why aren't they getting their bills through? Yeah, that's kind of surprising, isn't because it? Because Republicans can't stop anything. Yeah. They, they know on any spending bill, they can count on uh, Olympia Snow and Susan Collins to give them anything that Obama wants on a spending bill. I don't know. All I know is racism is, it, it seems like it's been one of those overused terms just like uh, green. Well, I know, but they're planning to take George Washington off the $1 bill and put... Barack Obama's face. Oh, on. I saw that and changed the dollar. That's kind of revolting. Yeah, and to put the and take a white, they've got to put black leaders on every bill they can. That's the question. That is Geithner's idea. Are you serious? Yeah, to honor black Americans because the, the, there have been too many white peoples in this country looking down on the minorities. So. Well, and then are they changing the name of our country from the United States of America? Well, <laughs> I mean, listen to what they're. The President of the United States is so pissed off about people, you know, basically the psychologists are going into his mind, book writers are writing books about him now, he's basically fighting back and threatening everybody he can think of from the White House. But he doesn't need to do any of that. Uh, basically, he, he said that he is, uh, one, of the, one of the experts who's a Democrat said the guy basically, they think he's manic depressive, he's probably over nicotine, and he, he's got a massive chip on his shoulder. And getting the opportunity to respond to the chip on his shoulder, he went too far too fast. He could have got it all. He had the House and the Senate. Yeah. And he couldn't, there was no, he was in a no-lose situation and he lost everything. Yeah, and see, part of it is what I don't want to see is when he feels like he's cornered what he's really going to do. Well, they said right now... I mean, he's acting like it right now, but I... They, they said now he's, 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 further. he's no longer acting like a president. No. He's acting like the rabble-rouser-in-chief to get the people to strike out against the Republicans. Well, the majority of the people in the Tea Party aren't Republicans, folks. They're independents and Democrats. Does he forget that he's president? He, he, he uh, no, George Bush is president. Oh, that's right. Well, that's right. Um, a study shows how to re rediscover species thought to be extinct. Yeah, every day they find them. All you do is you throw a rock and you find a species. There's an awful lot. You know, there's places, there's thousands of miles in the United States that nobody has been in. Oh, really? Because they, there's no water and there's no reason to go oh. there. Oh, and there's, and there's, there's no roads and there's no... They don't go. Congress punts tough votes until after November elections. And basically, that is called, the Democratic pollster said, if you're in a no-lose situation, Vote, because you blame the loss on the Republicans if you lose. If you win, it's a victory. They said you can't lose, so they did a, run, they did a Republican roadrunner and punted it. They couldn't lose, because they know the Republicans couldn't vote against the best of the people. They had to vote for the tax extension no matter what, and they lost. I mean, that's it. this is how bad things are going. On an issue they couldn't lose on, they were afraid to take a vote Damn. on. Yeah, I know. That gives you an idea of what they think is going on. Yeah. Lifestyle interventions may help overweight control diabetes. Uh, you know what they call a lifestyle intervention? What? Government telling you how much, what you can eat, what you can drink, what you can do at home. That's a lifestyle intervention. Oh my God. That's that's health. That's like no French fries. There is no French fries. Oh uh, no. 
Uh, no they said Michelle Obama doesn't want to take your french fries away from you. She just doesn't want them on the menu. And they have to offer you uh, carrot sticks and apple pieces and, and celery. But you can get the french fries made special, which they know no one would do. I would. <laughs> no, but none of the companies will make the french fries not special because of the fact you then it's going to take uh, five ten minutes. Oh yeah, have, because you got to get them ready. And, and basically, ready. you can't have them on display. So it's one one per customer they have to make, and they won't do it. That's a pain in the. Well, they said yesterday it's an attack on on McDonald's because McDonald's didn't support the president. Lifestyle. Oh wait, waiting for Superman to reform education. He's already here. Obama. I know it. That he he's planning to. Uh, only he has the ability to get everybody together and solve the problem. His idea of solving the problem, longer school year. And what do you do if you have a longer school year? Yeah. Oh, hire more teachers. You have to hire more teachers, uh, more better classrooms, and better better technology, which means uh -huh. you have to build new stuff. But basically, it's the same things that they have been preaching since the, uh, since the Department of Education. And every year since the Department of Education was created, education has went down. Yeah, how does that happen? Because the, the, the teachers don't have to teach. I went to school in an era where teachers wanted to be teachers. And it wasn't because they couldn't do anything else, it's because they liked teaching. Mm -hmm. Today, a teacher is somebody that can't do anything else, so he becomes a teacher. I mean, I was offered like a hundred and some dollars an hour when I, you know, when I got just a few years ago because they didn't have anybody else that you know, wanted to do the work for a hundred dollars an hour. Mm. Isn't that a substitute? A yeah. hundred dollars an hour to be a substitute. Wow. Yeah. Even the left now says the president looks more like a community organizer than as a president. Actually, they call him, a, they said he, they, they, the left is calling him the rabble rouser in chief. This is not from the Republicans or the conservative right commentators. This is from the left who are basically so pissed off they said, that, um, okay, here's another one from the same guy that told him You've won the presidency. Go shut your damn mouth and go home. They said last night, he said to say, one piece of advice for the president, shut that blankety blank mouth of yours, lock yourself in the White House, and we might actually keep some of these seats that you're losing for us. Mm -hmm. Everywhere he goes, the poll numbers go down the next day in that community. Floods, mudslides in Jamaica killed two people, leaving 12 missing. Well, yeah, because the, here's the oddity. The storms aren't as bad but the rain is worse this year. Oh, interesting. So it's not the story. It's what all these places that need rain are getting rain, but they're getting rain at the wrong time. Oh, well, guess what we're in store for this winter. Yeah. How fast is Bill aimed at pressuring China on its currency? I know, that, that's called another roadrunner moment. The United States is not going to force China into being the monetary system for the world. Because if they did, that would mean the money that they've got in their bank vaults, which they use to buy our stuff with, would be worthless. Mm. They have no intention of changing them for such. Every man in the world has got their vaults are filled full of dollars. Uh -huh. So Obama wants to destroy the American currency and put the yuan in, in place, which basically destroys every other country because they have to take a devaluated dollar and buy yuan's, which are basically worthless because they're nothing. They're backed up only with the. Uh, well, we're the Chinese government. American money is basically, uh, we do have money, gold to back it up. We don't have enough, but we do have some. Mm. And how's the, oh, power transition unlikely to alter North Korea's strategy? Yeah, because you, you, <laughs> he said, Just you replace, they, they said, how did, they said, how did Kim Jong-il decide who was going to replace him? He, he went and got a psychiatrist report, and the one that was the most insane was showing when he made the, uh, uh, are you kidding? They said that's how he did it because that they think that the, the third is the most uh, the most, most like mentally him. unstable of his all his children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, but no, he 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 basically. Because usually, wouldn't it go to the oldest yeah, son? Yeah, he's got two older ones that basically have been prepared, but they're too stable. Basically, the only thing that scares the world is the fact that Jim Jong Il is insane. Oh, and that he just likely might fire a nuclear missile at somebody and not worry about it. Mm -hmm. And Judge Hall's execution of rapist murderer. I know, isn't that amazing? The left has got their deal. Well, it seems that the company that produces the only tranquilizer that's approved to tranquilize people for executions. 
doesn't have the material and won't have the material for a year, so no what? excuses can be done. And they do, the guy that owns the company does admit, well, we don't believe in it. And it, it had nothing to do with the fact they said, uh, so they, they found all the materials they need. The state of California had new batches created. And then the judge basically stayed, uh, stayed it anyway. And then Jerry Brown says, well, we don't have a chance, so we're going to not fight it. And Jerry Brown doesn't believe in that family either. Which, they said, since three-quarters of the American people, including Democrats, do, puts the Democrats again on the wrong side of an issue for the public. It just, they're all, I mean, I have seen one Democratic predator at pollster after another team. They, they do not understand. This is a gimme. They couldn't lose this election. And all they do is stand on the wrong side of the people that are voting for them and then tell the people you're idiots. Well, see, part of it is you think the Republicans would take advantage of it. But they're not, because yeah. the Republicans are more stupid than Democrats. Seniors, kiss your medicine help goodbye under Obamacare. Yeah, they're basically, under Medicare Advantage, it wasn't costing you a whole lot for your medicine. Under Obamacare, you don't get that discount now until, nine, until 14. You get it in four what? years. What? You get the, you get the, they're going to give you assistance, assistance to buy your drugs in uh, 2014. Today is 2010, folks, I know, and, it's the drug, year. And, the, uh, and the system has stopped. So you have to oh. figure out, how are you going to pay for your medicine for the next four years? Oh, he's just letting them pass away. He's before. letting them pass away because Obama has no respect. I, mean, I was listening to thing last night, Obama has total absolute disrespect for people older than him. Really? Even for his grandma? He, he, he hated his grandmother, that's what they said. Totally hated his grandmother. Well, his grandmother wasn't his color. Oh my gosh. That's right. Oh, God. I, mean, they, they, they wrote, I read last night, listening to the thing, this book after book, psychological analysis. Of where do you people get off calling the president of the United States you know, mentally unfit? Well, because the Democrats, these are Democrats, folks. They're planning to oust this guy. Yeah, and you notice it's all coming out right now. Yeah, because they, 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 they're, they're saying his running from place to place, going into places where he's not invited with his shirt sleeve rolled up and showing how tough and butch he is. Well, like I heard a guy said last night, we didn't invite the SOB. He just busted into our party with the Secret Service agents with their guns showing. Could you imagine any other politician? I mean, they wouldn't even try that. Well, it's no. like, why would you do that? They, uh, but he's forcing his way into places he's not wanting and then hearing things that he doesn't want to hear. And he has no teleprompter to tell him what to say. It's like going in naked. That's right. In enemy territory. And he's basically frightening people with the whole, the wall to wall secrets. They said the press is not even going to bother covering him anymore except the right because they don't want to be involved in the thing that's hurting the party. Mm. Uh, yeah. And underweight people think they are too heavy, and overweight people think they are too thin. Well, I, I, that's what I'm amazed at, that, that how, that, you know, I, I'm looking at commercials where you got some woman who weighs about 400 pounds, thinks she's the greatest dancer on earth. Another woman that's basically 90 pounds telling everybody that, you know, that there's no one more attractive than her. <laughs> um, there's nothing but bone showing. The other woman is, is a blimp, and the whole building is moving when she's dancing. And they, th and they both think they're the hottest on earth. Well, there's something to be said about confidence. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's delusion. And Obama tells questionnaire, he's Christian by choice. Yeah, but they said that he's Christian. They find it amazing that until he got into trouble, he'd only attended church, Christian church four times since uh, the nomination procedure had started. Mm -hmm. and, started now? and now, you know, if, if now he's uh, going to church. He's going to pick a different Christian church out of day. But they said uh, he, he basically he, he, he basically saying he was a Muslim, folks. Oh. That's what he's saying. Then he became a Christian for political purposes. Yeah. He basically said that he was a Muslim. Mm -hmm. He became a Christian late in life. If he wasn't a Christian and he's going to Muslim mosque and stuff, what does that make you think he was? Mm -hmm. And a Monty Bubble is a, a, a politician. <laughs> a Monty <laughs> Bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. The, the, uh, the problem with the President of the United States is that he doesn't understand that the American people at all. You can only push the American people so far and then they fight back.